Called in a few favours, but it's going to take time to fix up a plan. You're going to be his eyes and ears. Any sniff of the police, you leg it over the top field and into the woods, yeah? At least they'll make a change from a stinking barn. Oh, dumb should have thought about that before he left his prints all over Dummer's car. It's not like he knew what was going to go down, is it? Relax, there's only me. Right, the clean clothes. Cheers. Finn's gone and Pete's on his way out. Oh, no, you can uh, have a shower first. I'll let you know when you can. So the police are looking. Is Ross going to make it easy for him or what? James spoke to him. Yeah, that was before his latest outburst. Well, well, I'll deal with Ross. You make sure you stay out of sight and out of trouble. A quick text, that's all I'm asking. We take guest confidentiality very seriously here at the Grange. How much does it worth? 50. 20. By all means, state them out yourself for free. Fine. Text me when they're both together in the room. Right, well, you better make it 60. Oh, come on, call it danger money. She's hardly going to react well to being spied on. Yeah, and I don't react well to being hustled. All right, 50 it is then. Uh, I pay when you deliver. As a fugitive. Rough. Kay made him sleep in the barn, just in case the police turned up in the night. Yeah. Makes sense. Bruises are coming up a treat, though. I've never seen Ross like that before. <laughs> Must have really loved the girl. Oh, so he has got feelings, then. Who knew? Obviously, Kay was a bit of a shock to him, too. Well, Aaron has had a rough couple of years he could do without the aggro. I'll make sure he stays out of his way. Won't be around much longer, though, will he, Aaron? No. Kane's working on it. I'd hate this to change anything between us. What's he done now? How do you know this is about Ross? Well, what else is it going to be? Look, can I skip the family conference? I've got sons on at work. I think you might want to stay and hear this. Well, enjoy the story, lads. It's a corker. You don't have to go. Family conference, isn't it? You don't need me. The one like Ross. She was nice, normal. We barely knew her. She obviously had a lot of secrets. Ross, I'll fall for someone. Well, he doesn't have it in him. He's not as tough as you both think. Well, I suppose that explains a lot. About what? Your attack? Look, Dad, we already knew. He told me. And you didn't think I'd be interested? I couldn't face making a thing about it. A thing? After everything that happened to oh, you? Dad, please, just forget it. And it's not as if he'll give us stuff now anyway, will he? He's too busy crying over his dead girlfriend. Sorry, lads, um, but we've got company. The police have just turned up. They're starting in the cellar. Right, anything I can do? No, no, because um, you're going to work, aren't you? Yeah. Um, fine, no problem. I'll uh, see you later. We'll talk, OK? No, thanks. Sorry, but we haven't really got time to muck about. Yeah, come on, I'll drive us. We'll come out. Aaron won't cover for you. I could get immunity. One of the owners died. And they want information. And I've got a lot of dirt on a lot of people. I went out with a couple once. Angie Reynolds. She liked to wrong and just like your Donna. She died in my arms. I don't need to hear the details, Tar. I fell for her big time. But she set me up. Tried to get me done for nicking a van, and you know why? Nope. Because it doesn't work, Ross. Someone like you with someone like her. It worked. We were planning stuff. She was dying. Everything you planned for was a lie. She used you, and you know it. Hate Aaron all you like, but it's not going to change a thing. You're just going to end up dumb for everything Donna's wrote you into. You don't know how it was. Forget how it was, because this is now, and you're up to your neck in it. You open your mouth, you're going to go under. Don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> 